Ladies and gentlemen, this is Van der Rijfel time again. This is my model 1867 pair, 77 Van der Rijfel. First small caliber breech loading, self-contained cartridge firing rifle of the Austro-Hungarian Monarchy. Originally, the caliber of this rifle was 11.15 by 42R. This is the cartridge, that's an original cartridge. This was loaded with four grams of black powder, Scheiben pulver. It's a very fine black powder and also a 20 gram uh, grease groove bullet. Well, this cartridge was replaced in 1877 with a bigger cartridge with the modification of the rifles, the chamber of the rifles. This is the 11.15 by 70, oh, sorry, 11.15 by 58R cartridge. Now, this was charged with 5 grams of Scheiben pulver and also a 24 gram paper patch bullet. The lubrication of this bullet was provided by a grease cookie between two thin carton beds. Well, this is not an original cartridge, this is a reproduction cartridge. Let's check first the group of this cartridge at 50 meters. And that is, ladies and gentlemen, the 50 meter group. Well, I have one flyer here, probably that was me, not the rifle. But all the other four shots are, let's say, within a little bigger than the 10 size ring, which is quite good for a military rifle with the original military load. And this load is quite close to the original because the velocity is the same, the bullet is the same, and the loading method is the same. So probably this is the closest I can get to the original Vandal model 1877 cartridge. I love that rifle. When this bigger cartridge entered service in 1877, it was not just the change of the black powder charge and the bullet, but also the material of the cartridge case. Now this one is made of brass and this old one was made from copper. Now the brass one is stronger and it can withstand higher pressures, which was necessary for the new cartridge. Let me guide you through the process how I make the reproduction of the original cartridge. This is kind of a close reproduction. The mouse of the empty case is first flare to ease the seating of the bullet. The next step is to prime the case. Now it is time to charge 77 grains of 2F Swiss powder. The next step is seating an over powder bed and there comes the grease cookie and the final carton bed. The bullet is paper patched with two layers.
Now comes the sizing part. And finally we can seed the bullet. For crimping the neck, I use an 8x57 resizing die with removed capping pin. Even if we think that we use the same powder charge on the same bullet with the same lubrication in the same case, we still have to prove this. Well, the only way to prove this is to check the muzzle velocity of this cartridge. The muzzle velocity we have to reach is around 438 meters per second. Now this is our target, so let's check now what this cartridge can do. I use the ballistic radar to track the velocity from 0 to 50 meters. The muzzle velocity turned out to be very close to the original. It was between 442 and 447 meters per second. So the cartridge is right, the muzzle velocity is good, and also the cartridge is accurate, so this can be considered a quite good reproduction of the original model 80, 1877 Vander rifle cartridge. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is the time for the Mad Minute. So British muzzle loaders and block on the range, stay tuned. So ladies and gentlemen, that was my Vendor Rifle Mad Minute. I was able to fire 9 shots per minute, which is only one shot better than the Vendor Rifle. The accuracy is pretty much the same, I think. So if you check this target, there are not too much differences. But anyway, it was faster, more than 10% faster. And it could be much more fast because I had ejection problems. When I'm opening the breech, this rifle should fire the empty case far out from the chamber of the rifle, which my rifle does not do, because uh, these cases are just too tight in my, my, my chamber, which means I have to help it a bit with my fingers. But anyway, it was great fun to shoot this rifle. And uh, I'm pretty sure that uh, after some fine modifications with the cartridge lengths, probably it will fire those empty cases out and that will add some velocity into the loading process and also to the rate of fire. So ladies and gentlemen, until next time, stay cool and keep your powder dry. If you wish to support us, you can do it through Patreon or by buying the Cap and Ball products. You can find the links in the description of the video.